Good morning, Year 10, and welcome to this week's assembly. As always, here is our quiz. Can you guess the 20 chocolate bars from their insides? Um, as always, the winner from last week's quiz will be receiving an email. So if you entered last week, please check your email. And I will take email submissions for this quiz and announce the winner next week. As always, um, time for our book review. And what was really great is Lily um, from the review last week went out and purchased the book. Um, so it'd be lovely to see if any of you are inspired to read this one, which is Hold Tight by Jeff Bracky. Um, it's a book which celebrates over 50 key songs that have contributed to the genre of music we call grime. Now, I'm not naturally a like grime listener, um, but I found it really interesting going through key landmarks um, throughout the history of grime. Um, and the book itself seeks to explore the meaning of the music and shine a light on what makes grime music so special in the UK, especially because it often gets quite a negative press. Um, I remember talking about this book to Fabian and he seemed quite interested. It would be really cool if there were some more of you inquiring about different styles of books that you could get into. Today's assembly, we are going to focus on value one, which is an appreciation and curiosity for life and learning. To begin with, have a look at the pictures on the board. What can you see in all of them? Now, to be fair, none of them are that complicated. We've got the bottom of a phone, the bottom of a shoe, the bottom of a bottle, the bottom of a snail, up someone's nose and looking up a tree. Um, but I guess you're probably sat there wondering what the purpose of those pictures are. And it's because this week there are some key events happening if we just take the time to look up. Firstly, earlier this morning, um, the meteor shower Eta Aquid took place. Now, the Eta Aquids are little pieces of rock that have fallen off Halley's Comet, which is a really famous comet, and it's visible from Earth every 76 years. Also, on Thursday, we will be able to see May's full moon, which this year is known as the super flower moon. Now, the flower part isn't because it looks like a flower or is the colour of the flower. It's just because May is the month where loads of flowers bloom. But the super part is because not only is it a full moon, but also the moon will be closer to the Earth than usual. So it should be a lot brighter and a lot bigger to see. In other space news, NASA and SpaceX, which is the private company owned by the billionaire Elon Musk, are teaming up to launch a rocket carrying two astronauts in space. Now, although that might not seem like big news, this is the first time since 2011 that a rocket carrying people has blasted off from American soil. Since then, they've kind of been reliant on Russia and Japan and Europe um, to help transport astronauts and supplies to and from space. Now, the space launch is actually taking place on the 27th of May, um, so keep an eye out for that later this month. Now, I don't know about you all, but I find the moon um, and looking up the stars quite peaceful, um, and I hope that you have the opportunity on Thursday to maybe take a look at the moon and find that sense of peace, or that you're finding a sense of peace through other things that you're engaging with at the moment. This week, I once again received some lovely pictures of some of the cakes you've been baking. Obviously, I mentioned Alana's cake um, earlier on in the week, um, but I also just wanted to shout out Lily and Ben, who made these fabulous lemon drizzle cakes. Very, very excited to taste them when we come back. And as always, if you've been up to anything amazing, please feel free to drop me an email with any pictures so that I can include it in next week's assembly. Just as a reminder, um, you guys have been doing really, really well on your submissions and we're actually the year group with not only the best rate of submissions, but also the best quality of submissions. So well done for that. If you are someone, however, who is still struggling to stick to a routine, please let me know and I'm more than happy to help you come up with your own personalised timetable to support you. This week's shout outs are for Sade for her prompt and high quality English work. She's trying really hard at home and it's paying off. Molly for her amazing history notes, great maths work from Chile, Diana, Anna and Tegan, Kyle for his excellent travel and tourism work this week, and Walid, Angelina, Carmela, Afia, Marcel, Diana, Kyle, Melania, Yovana, Kinza, Sade and Lubna who all submitted every single piece of work due last week. As promised, each week two students will um, be in with a chance to win an Amazon voucher, so let's spin the wheel to work out who that will be for this week.
It's starting to slow. Maybe Lubna. No, looks like it's Walid. Walid is our first winner. Check your email, Walid. You should have an Amazon voucher for me. Our second winner this week is going to be. Oh, Lubna again, maybe? Yes, it looks like it's Lubna. Congratulations to Lubna. So we're leading Lubna. Please look out for some Amazon vouchers in your email. Everybody else, to be in with a chance to win a voucher next week, all you need to do is submit your work to your teachers. The only other announcement I have is a reminder that this Saturday is the Virtual Urban Scholars Programme from 9.45 till 3.15. By now, you should have received an email with the programme for the day. Um, just make sure that you click the link in the email to register your attendance, and you'll then receive an email um, which will confirm the link ready for Saturday. They have asked for five things, that you are patient, um, because obviously this is a new thing they're trying to do, and there potentially will be some technical difficulties, so just be patient. Log in by 9.15 so they have a good idea of who's attending. Try and be an active participant, ask questions, take part and be respectful because obviously people's viewpoints and people's opinions are going to, might be different to yours. And also provide them with feedback and complete the evaluation form at the end of the day. Obviously, depending on how long lockdown continues for, this might be something they do quite regularly. So the more feedback they have on how they've done and how it could be better, the better those experiences will be for you in the future. As always, stay safe, stay healthy and stay kind. See you next week.